Okay, this is a um, uh, gate carbon drive system and I want to measure the tension um, of this belt drive and here is a manual and um, to measuring this you need uh, tools like this or like this or uh, there's a I think a popular method um, with a mobile app and the idea is that you listen to the sound of the belt when you play with this belt like a guitar side so this belt make a noise and it's uh, very easy to recording the so uh, noise and have a look at the full spectrum of the sound in this room. So um, the mobile phone is just recording all the time and then there's an uh, application or crazy mathematical stuff um, that shows you the full spectrum of the sound that goes into the microphone. And then uh, Gates writes an app and just so you use this, uh, the peaks of this um, uh, recording sound. So I can try this app here. I hope the autofocus is working. Not sure how good it is, but there are some um, informations about the recommended frequencies and how this stuff works. And um, you have to start this app there and then it starts recording and the fast field transformation is working in the background and then it gives you a frequency. So I can make a sound. Now that's the first sound. But I think it's a little bit tricky. So I'm not really sure what they are measuring. So I can make a sound. But yes, and you have not a good overview what is going on. So I don't like this app. But we can just try it. I hold it here. It is not working very well, so I don't like this app. And uh, but there's another app um, here that looks like this. And now you see here the full spectrum um, of the sound that goes into the microphone. And I'm not sure uh, what is the name of these lines in English, but I can make a noise like ah, and you see here the sound, or I can make. Ah, and I can shift here a little. Okay, and <clears throat> I think that is much easier and you have a, a better look at the frequency. So you can zoom in to 50 to 100 and I don't zoom in. And then we make the same thing. And we see 59. Okay, um, you see here the sparks goes up and down, sometimes more. Here. Fifty nine. Um, and then I have to think about it, and there is a uh, an idea, and it's an old idea, that works with a strobe light. So when you have a frequency movement or rotation movements, you can uh, just mark one point. Then you um, start with a flashlight and uh, adjust the frequency. And when uh, the mark point is not moving anymore, then you have find the moving frequency of the object. And then I've searched for an app that can switch on and off my uh, mobile phone flashlight so fast, so maybe we must between 50 and 100 hertz. And um, I've searched for apps like this uh, some years ago, and the problem is that it's not easy to switch on and off this LED with Android so fast. And um, so this app just works, the maximum frequency is 100 hertz, that's not much. And you have a lot of advanced setting to have a better performance and a constant flash. But then I uh, think about it and it is not a problem to divide the needed frequency by two. So I can go to uh, 30 or 35 hertz, then I must see the same um, effect. You know this effect from um, 
the, the framework of the camera and rotating wheels in movies and uh, on the cinema or when uh, helicopters or airplanes are starting then you see um, that the uh, uh, rotors are just slowly turning or they rotate reverse and all this stuff. Okay, then I, um, I know I've uh, measured with my uh, fast field transformation app um, the sound and that says we must near uh, 60 Hertz and then I start just with uh, 35 Hertz but I can test it now and I hope you see here on the frame is the effect and I'm not really sure what we see later on YouTube and then I can adjust the frame rate and now you see this frame rate effects or strobe light effects and uh, my idea is that when I have the same fr um, frame rate or the double frame rate or uh, the divided frame rate then my belt I have a picture from the belt that stays constantly Okay, and then I can go to 29 Hertz, and when I do this now, I see so a picture of this belt here, when it's up and when it's down, up and when it's down. When I then shift the frequency a little bit, then I see a wobbling effect here. So I, here's a small bow in this belt, and that's not the right frame rate and I go a little bit too much down and then I have the same I have a picture that the belt is go up and go down and when I have the right frequency or the area of the right frequency then there is no wobbling effect then the belt stays on one position or I have uh, on two positions and now I see it here, 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 and then the belt goes a little up. And now I'm right. And 30 hertz. This wall is the same that what I have measured with the other app. So that's a nice and easy function, and uh, yet it would work better when the performance of the flashlight will be better. But it's just a quick and dirty method to adjust the right tension on this belt with another method. Um, with a mobile phone. So, thanks, that's all.